This Caribbean island has breathtaking beaches, laid-back vibes, and the Caribbean's largest Margaritaville. When most people think of Turks and Caicos, they think of Grace Bay, a dreamscape of quiet, clear waters and immaculate white sands that consistently ranks among the world's most beautiful beaches. While it's natural to focus solely on the Caribbean nation's most well-known asset, focusing solely on providentials means missing out on other less visible jewels with plenty of vacation appeal from tiny case capped by luxury resorts to Grand Turk. How to get to Grand Turk All foreign planes arriving in Turks and Caicos land at Providentials Foreign Airport PLS. Visitors flying to Grand Turk should take a fast charter flight operated by one of the two local carriers, Caicos Express Airways or Interc Caribbean. The Grand Turk Cruise Center is home to several cruise lines. Private yachts and boats can also be anchored here. The capital and second most populated island in the Turks and Caicos archipelago fulfills all of your sand and your toes desires. It also has several tourist-oriented attractions, such as a world-class cruise port and the Caribbean's largest Margaritaville. The stunning beaches are the main reason visitors come to Turks and Caicos. And visitors to Grand Turk will not be disappointed in that regard. The bean-shaped island is surrounded by beautiful stretches of fine sand and blue tides. Even wild horses and donkeys roam free. Governor's Beach on the west coast is widely regarded as the most beautiful beach destination. It also has a lack of trade winds and shade giving casuarina trees, making it excellent for lounging in the afternoon sun. Beautiful beaches include Cockburn Town Beach, Pillory Beach, Cruise Center Beach, and English Point Beach. Are also wonderful. Kayaking, paddleboarding, and windsurfing are popular activities for active travelers. Offshore snorkeling and scuba diving enthusiasts should plan a boat excursion to swim with colorful marine life. As Turks and Caicos only port, the island caters primarily to cruise guests. The Grand Turk Cruise Center, which opened in 2006, features stores, restaurants, bars, and a large swimming pool. It's also a tour and vehicle rental hub, and it's just a short walk from Cruise Center Beach, which, predictably, gets rather crowded when motion liners dock. Travelers interested in the past will also find something to pique their attention. For about 700 years, the Taino and Lucan people lived in the area. After the indigenous population was decimated by colonization, Grand Turk spent a century in the hands of pirates in several European countries before British colonialists from Bermuda started the salt industry there around 1680. Today, visitors can observe the ruins of salt ponds and windmills. The Grand Turk's lighthouse on the bluff top is one of the most recognized historic monuments, while the Turks and Caicos National Museum in Cockburn Town houses artifacts such as a Lucane carved wood ceremonial chair and molasses reef shipwreck relics. Best Restaurants and Bars on Grand Turk Ridge Cafe at Arches on the Ridge serves handcrafted breakfast dishes such huevos rancheros, freshly baked products, and espresso. On weekends, it also serves lunch and dinner. Sandbar Restaurant allows swimsuit-clad customers to enjoy local seafood, sip rum punch, and soak in the sunset views. Many cruise passengers and tourists appreciate the convenience of grabbing a fast dinner at Jack's Shack, relaxing with conch fritters and a refreshing beer at Beach Whale Bar and Grill, or sipping fruity beverages at the Swim Up Bar at the massive Margaritaville Grand Turk. Grand Turk's Best Places to Stay those who aren't returning to the luxuries of a cruise cabin have a few options for overnight stays on Grand Turk. With 34 rooms, the Osprey Beach Hotel is the largest. It also provides a variety of services to guests, such as a pool, water sports, dive packages, and Saturday night barbecues. The privately owned Turk's Head and E is located on a tree-lined street in Cockburn Town and occupies a distinctive turquoise shuttered structure just beat from the coast. There are a few exquisite rooms on the inside. There's also a restaurant and bar in a beautiful area. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel.